Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. For this question, we're being asked to prove that the surface area A of a right circular cone without a base is given by A is equal to pi RL, where R is the radius of the base and L is the slant height. So I think for a question like this, we are best to start off by drawing up a diagram. So the the cone that we're being asked to consider, it's a right circular cone, so we can start by drawing up a right angled triangle. We're told the slant it has a length of L, and um, the cone has a circular base where the radius of the circle is R. And so if I kind of complete the cone we're concerned with, with the area of the outside of the cone, not including the base. And we're being asked to show that that area, A, is equal to pi R L. Now, one thing, or one way you can think about this is to imagine if you were to kind of cut this at this slant, so you kind of cut the cone and then you were to roll out and flat roll out flat the actual surface area of the cone what would that look like and i mean you could try doing that maybe with a piece of paper or something but what you what you find is that it would look something like this and this obviously won't be drawn perfectly to scale but Hopefully you get the idea. You'd, you'd basically get this arc um, where the length here is L and here is L and this is also L. Um, so basically if you had an arc like this and you were to kind of wrap it together, you'd end up with a cone with a circular base. So all, all I've done here is the reverse. I've taken the cone and cut it to then flatten it out. Now the length of this arc from here to here we know is the radius or sorry the circumference of this circle because the cone wraps around the circle so this part would have to wrap around the length of the circle so the circumference of a circle with radius r would be uh, 2 pi r that's the formula for the circumference of a circle so now, essentially, the area of the surface area of this cone, if we can find the area of this arc, then we found the area of the cone. Now, if we think of this arc as sitting as part of a wider circle, here's my attempt at drawing a circle. That's the, the best I can do, uh, freehand. Um, uh, we can make use of the rule that the ratio of the area of a sector of a circle, so the area of some sector of a circle over the area of the circle, that ratio is equal to the ratio of the length of an arc over the, the whole length of the circle or the circumference of the circle. So the ratio of those two things are the same. That's something you can rely on. No need to prove it. You can just rely on that. If you want to see the proof, you could go and look that up. But for this proof, we can rely on this. So the area of this sector, which is what we're concerned with, uh, I might just call that A, because that's what we're told the area of the cone is, divided by the area of this whole circle. Now, um, this particular circle has a, a radius of L. So the area of the whole circle would be pi R, I'm uh, oh, sorry, pi L squared, since that's the radius here. That is going to be equal to the length of this arc, which, which we know is 2 pi R, because it has to wrap around this um, circle divided by the circumference of this circle which would be 2 pi L and here the two pi's cancel so that's equal to simply R on L and if we bring up the pi L squared we get A is equal to 
uh, pi r l squared on l and then these two cancel and we get equal to pi r l which is what we were asked to show. So that's how you can do that proof. I think um, this one it kind of required you to have some good visualization skills. Uh, thankfully once you've done this proof once um, you know you can you can rely on the result and um, once you're familiar with this visualization technique, it, it's a fairly easy thing to replicate. But um, yeah, as I mentioned, if, if you find that hard to do, um, what might help you is to go get a piece of paper, kind of cut it into an arc like this and then make the cone and then see that that is how a cone is formed. You take an arc in this shape and you wrap it together. So um, that's kind of the the foundation of, of this approach to the proof um, but hopefully you found that helpful and that's all made sense to you and uh tick boom